Hey, so I got a request for a video on, on some functionality that I thought I'd knock out really quick. Uh, let me go ahead and do a new project. Uh, we're going to do a WinForm application. We'll call it WinForm Ratio. Click OK. Um, so basically, uh, this particular user was asking about, uh, he had two uh, numeric counters, numeric up-down objects on his form. And he was looking for a way to represent these as a ratio. So if one was changed to basically update the la a label that showed, um, you know, what the ratio is or the fraction, or uh, essentially the top divided by the bottom. Um, so I thought I'd just knock that out real quick and show you how that might be done. So what I've done is I've added two numeric up-down controls. These are really simple controls. Um, if I ran this right now, uh, essentially you'll get something that looks like this and you know as you might imagine if you push up or down increments or decrements accordingly okay so i have those two things i'm also going to add a label and i'm going to make this label font a little bit bigger just so we can take up some of the room uh let's go 16 maybe yeah and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna align it to the right so text align to the right and to the center. Okay. And the width. I'll set the width. Uh, you know what? I won't set the width. I'll just leave it right there. Okay. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the text there. And I'm going to rename this guy. Right now the instance is called label1. I'm going to change that to ratio. And I'm going to move him all the way over here again. Sign him up. Okay, so essentially what he was looking for, if I'm understanding the question correctly, is when he changes this value, um, he wants to know what this number divided by this number is. So let's rename this. We'll call this... Uh, numerator, we'll call this denominator, okay, and we know that this can not be zero, or else we're going to get some, some problems, but that's okay, we'll, we'll deal with that in a second, um, and then we have our ratio uh, label over here, so if we click on this guy, I'm sure there's an event that says value changed, and if I double click him, um, basically, when the value is changed, I want to take whatever is here and divide it by whatever is here, and then I want to show it in my label over here, right? So let's do, uh, we'll call it a double uh, ratio. We'll say, actually, we'll say double V, or we'll say D, equals numerator divided by denominator, right? And then what we want to say is ratio dot text equals um, d dot two string, right? And you know what we'll do also? We'll initialize d dot text. Oops. We'll say ratio dot text equals zero. We'll just have that there. And we'll also set denominator dot text equal to zero. Uh, let's see. Why are we getting all that here? So we want to get the actual value, right? Let's see. Does that get it? Yeah, that should do it. decimal let's change it to a decimal that'll work okay so what we're basically doing uh, out of the gate is we're changing the ratio uh, which is our little our label that's going to show the the result of the the top divided by the bottom to zero we're sending the does not the not denominator sorry to one because we can't divide by zero um, and then we're basically if the value is changed on the top is the way we have this set right now on the numerator we are basically going to do the numerator divided by the denominator, and then we're going to set that value to our label. 
Now we need to do the same thing if the bottom uh, is changed as well, right? So I'm just going to come in here and paste the exact same method, right? So basically, if either one of these gets changed, this piece of code is going to get executed. That's kind of what we're going for. Um, and what I probably should do is put this inside of a try catch block because there's a good chance that at some point the user will have a zero in that bottom um, counter. So uh, let's make sure we don't have our application bomb when that happens. Uh, exception. And what we'll do is we'll say ratio.text equals, uh, let's call it div by zero. Okay. And this is probably looking for brackets. Okay. So let's run this and see what we get. All right. Obviously, I need to move him over. Let me, before we even keep going, let's just let's go ahead and make that happen. Oh, if I can even get him. Where'd it go? There he is. You know what? I am just going to go ahead and set him down some text. So we'll just say ratio label. All right. Let's move him over again. Okay, let's try this again. So it says zero. If I do, if I change him to one, it says one. Two divided by one is two. Right, so you see what's going on here. And we can maybe even, you know what, let's just, uh, let's make this to the left. Middle left, and we'll move him all the way over here. And let's run it again. So we do one divided by two. And we could truncate this if we wanted to. I mean, there's lots of things you could do here, um, you know, however you see fit. But essentially, this, uh, if, the, if the question that was asked, if I'm following it correctly, um, you know, this is, uh, this is basically going to accomplish what it is that you're trying to do. So I hope this helps. Good luck. Take care.